as we remain standing, let's invite our guest preacher for tonight to the microphone is Nora Persidan, Pastor Isaac Oyedegu. Somebody, can you clap? Can you clap? Can you clap? Keep clapping, keep clapping. Shout and celebrate Jesus. Shout and celebrate Jesus. Somebody keeps keep shouting, keep shouting. Keep celebrating Jesus. Is it the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that we celebrate here tonight? Give him a shout of praise, everyone. Thank you, Lord. The captain of the host above, the champion of my destiny. In you alone, I make my bones. You reign alone as Lord. Let me ask uh, Minister Peterson to please sing that. Lift up your hands, everyone. Your light has come. The champion of the host of all. Lift your hands, Jesus is here. And captain of my destiny. In you alone, I make my boast. You reign alone. As Lord of all, lift it up. The champion of the last of all. Hey. Lift your hands up. And counting on my destiny. In you, in you alone. I make my Father, we are gathered here tonight. Your glory is already here. It's and light is already dawning on your people. Lord, may no one live here the same way they came. You are the changer of destinies. Change destinies here tonight. Let there be a visitation of a lifetime. Holy Spirit, move all across this tent. From aisle to aisle, roll to roll, let it be. 
and everyone will encounter your light here tonight. Holy Ghost, let there be interruptions. Let souls be drawn to you. Let the sick be healed. Let the lame walk. Let the blind see. Let the oppressed be delivered. Let the mentally derailed be restored. I vow to give you all the glory, all the honor. For it is in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And let me hear everyone tonight here in Okrika shout the loudest. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and you may please be seated. Amen. I want to deeply appreciate our host here tonight, our dear father and mother, the bishop that God has placed over the Okrika diocese. What a privilege for the first time to be in Okrika. And everything here tonight seems like the first. It's also my first time in the Anglican church. But not my last time. Amen. Sir, we deeply appreciate you. Ma, we deeply appreciate you. All of the leaders, we deeply appreciate you greatly. My brother, and my friend, Minister Peter Sinokopi, God bless you richly. How many were truly blessed through the worship session? Amen. Praise ye the Lord. I am going to be speaking tonight on what I believe the Holy Ghost dictated to me for this meeting. I'll be speaking on the seven identities of light. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 and 2 is the foundational scripture of this meeting. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And it's already happening. Gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. The seven identities of light. And I'd like you to understand that tonight will not just be a night of theory, but a night of practicals. Anything that represents darkness in anyone's life will not escape tonight. The seven identities of light and the theme is your light has come. That theme is not a theme that somebody just sat down to put together. Your light has come is God's agenda in the now. I don't know how you came here, but the Lord signaled to me that someone's new chapter is opening here tonight. Can I have you shout, make it personal now, my light has come. Okrika, I want you to be very rugged with your expectation tonight. I'd like you to scream it, my light has come. I want to give you one more chance and I want faith to arise on your inside and let it be displayed as you scream. My light has come. I just heard the Spirit of God say to announce to you that darkness has expired. I said darkness has expired. Please be seated. But light from God's word has seven identities among many. We're just going to look at seven tonight. And we trust the Lord that you will not come here to my light has come and live with darkness. But that by time we are closing the day one of this crusade and conference. You will not need to announce it. It will be seen all over you that your light has come. Number one identity of light is that light is a person. Light is a person. John chapter 1 and verse 8, the Bible says, 
He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of the light. <laughs> light is not an event. Light is a person. It was talking about the mission of John. That he was not that light. So when Jesus came, light came. He said he came to bear witness to the light. That's in John chapter 1 verse 8. Now in John chapter 9 verse 5, he says, As long as I am in this world, I am the light of the world. Jesus introduced himself as light. It was prophesied before he arrived that light was coming. Hear this tonight. You may not understand what is happening, but there is going to be such a downpour of visitations in just a moment. Listen to this. When we said the theme of the conference is my light has come, we were really saying Jesus has come. Because light is a person. Is there anything that Jesus cannot fix? I can't hear you, Okrika. Is there anything that is too big for him to fix? So when we say come to the conference and they ask you what's the theme of the conference, you say my light has come. If they have any understanding, they will say when did he come? Because light is a person. Lift up your hands while you are. I want to decree as I hear my spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may you meet with light. Okrika, I want you to shout that amen. May you meet with light. I am introducing you to the personality of light. His name is Jesus. I didn't say you will hear about light. I didn't say light will come around you. I decree over you that you will meet with light. I didn't hear that amen. Let it arise from the depth of your heart. Please be seated. So light is a person when light comes you receive light mm. when light comes now anytime i say light for now think of jesus when light comes you don't look at light when light comes you don't clap at light when light comes you don't dance around light when light comes, you receive light. You believe light. You embrace light. You obey light. Mm. When we say light has come, God is also saying, in case there has been a yellow light blinking at your destiny, or a red light blinking at your destiny, and saying it is not time for you to go, now that light has come, green light has arrived. Can I prophesy to somebody? Between now and the end of 2024, it will be clear that you came to this conference. It will be very clear because you will receive abundance of speed. So light is a person. And what is his name? I want you to scream his name. And hear me, light cannot share the same space with darkness. When light comes, darkness automatically goes. So when we say light has come, and Jesus is light, and the, the devil operates in darkness, what happens? Darkness disappears. There is never any debate with light and darkness. We are spending tonight introducing you to the realities and the identities of light. Tomorrow I trust the Lord that we will move to another dimension. Where I will show to you the dominion of light over darkness. When you know you have met with light, who is a person? There is how you should operate as light in this world. Jesus said, I am the light of this world. Then he went on to say to you, you too are the light of the world. A city that is set upon a hill cannot be hidden. So number one, light is a person. Let me hear you scream it. Light is a person. 
Okrika, let me hear you screaming. Light is a person. And what is his name? Scream it again. 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 Number two, light is a state. There is a state of light. There is a state of darkness. It all begins by receiving the person of light. But we must understand that light is a state. In John chapter 8 verse 12, Jesus speaking said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life mm. look at it again jesus said i am the light of this world so he introduced himself as a person his name is light his name is jesus he said now whosoever follows me remember he's a person so we receive him we believe him we embrace him we follow him whosoever follows me shall follow this not walk in the state of darkness but shall have the light of life so there are people walking in the state of darkness is a condition Light is not only a person. Light is a state. Light is a condition. So when we are saying your light has come, we are saying Jesus has come. We are also saying your condition has changed. Because light is a state. We can't say your light has come and your state has not changed. Are you hearing me tonight? If light is a person and your light has come, his name is Jesus. We believe him. We receive him. We obey him. We follow him. That's important. But light is also a state. If my light has come and I have met with the person of light, then my state must change. My state must change. I don't know whatever represents darkness around you because your light has come your state your condition your reality has also changed in the name of jesus did i hear the loudest amen right here in okrika the state of darkness is the state of oppression the state of darkness is the state of depression the state of darkness is the state of stagnation but if light is a state and light has come, state here doesn't mean river state, it means condition. If light is a condition and your light has come, then something must happen to your condition. Something must happen to the way that you came. No wonder the Bible says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it and it shall be no more until he come whose right it is and I will give it to him. Light is a state. Light is a condition. Your condition changes from darkness to light when light comes. Oh my God. Can you lift up your hands where you are by the spirit of the Lord? Within the remaining weeks leading to the end of this year, it will be clear to everyone including those who have mocked you that your condition has changed. I'm talking about your condition in your spiritual life, your condition in your marital life, your condition in your financial life, your condition in your academics, your condition, ah my God, your condition in any area is changing here tonight in the name of Jesus. Please, you may be seated. In Luke's gospel chapter 22 verse 53, Jesus speaking, he said, when I was dealing with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Satan has no power except in darkness. Anything that has held you down, held you down because you were in darkness. When light comes, the one who has power in darkness automatically 
loses his grip. I'm here to announce to you, when light comes, Satan and all his tricks and all his agendas in your life dissolve. Now hear me, this is a reality. All you need to do when you discover that the enemy is the one behind the oppressions of your life, just switch on light. Meet with light. I didn't say be in church. I didn't say be in the diocese. I didn't say be religious. I said meet with light. Many have heard of light but haven't seen light. I don't want to go deep into it but you discover that when Saul who became Paul was walking on the way to Damascus the Bible says that there came a voice and there came a light and he saw the light. Place your hand on your eyes just as a representation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I came in here to introduce you to light. Anyone who hasn't personally met light, may you see light tonight. Did I hear the loudest? Amen. When I was meditating and thinking on what God will have me share, I heard this illustration jump up in my spirit. You don't need to pray for fish to operate when fish is not in water. Once fish is out of water, the life of the fish is also going out of the fish. Once you place light where darkness has been and the devil operating in your life, it's only a matter of time the life of the devil is suffocated. Because light has been introduced. If you want to see God walk, God move, meet light. If you want to see the enemy continue to rule in your life, stay out of light. Light is a state. It is automatic that the moment light comes, your circumstance changes. I want to prophesy again as I hear my spirit. Anyone that has been written off that came to this Okrika meeting, in the name that is above every other name, as you meet with light here tonight, your condition changes forcefully. Are you following this here tonight? So number one, light is what? I can't hear you. Light is what? Louder, light is what? Number two, light is what? Light is what? And number three, are you ready for this? Light is a season. Weeping may endure for a night. Psalm 30 verse 5. But joy cometh in the morning. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but you will know that it is you I'm talking about. I don't know how long you have waited for things to change. But this light has come, has brought a new season. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, step into your new season. Light is a season. Just like every day has night, every day also has light. Mm. <laughs> night represents darkness day represents light the bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven yes sometimes it is just the right season the right season the right word I have learned in my little walk with God. God can gather thousands of people together to meet one man. I don't know who that person is. Maybe you are not even part of the Anglican church, but you wandered here. Something told you be here. And you stepped in here tonight. God can gather thousands to meet one man. You are not hearing what I'm saying. God can look for one man and say, I'm going to meet with you. So I will create a meeting. They think it is a meeting for the diocese. But I have located one man. He said, I sought for a man. A man. A man. God can scan throughout River State and find a man. 
God can scan throughout Okrika and find a man. God can scan throughout Nigeria and find a man. But let me shock you. God can also scan and find no man. But he has told me to tell you that light is a season. And that means the season you have been praying for. The say, oh my God, the season you have been waiting for. The season you have been having all night prayers for. The season, the season you have been crying for before the year began. The season, the moment you have been waiting for. You have been waiting for all conditions to be right. But when light, oh my God, when light comes, it's a new season. I kept hearing in my spirit the last 24 hours. Not just for me. He told me, but I believe it's for somebody here. Lift up your hands and I will decree this word over you. Step into the new. Mm. <laughs> In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Behold, I will do a new thing. Verse 18 says, forget the former things. Neither remember the things of old. <laughs> it says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Verse 19, for behold, season has changed. I will do a new thing. I want you to mark your calendar. There are dates you can't forget. I know what happened to me last year on the 22nd of October. I don't need any reminder. I know what happened to me last year on the 20th of October. I don't need any reminder. I believe today is the 23rd of October 2024. Write this date down. I am here to declare to you, God sent me all the way to tell you that your season has changed. A new season has come. I said a new season has come. Because your light has come, a new season has come. Number four. Light is a place. Light is a place. <laughs> light is a place in Acts chapter 9 that I referenced earlier on the Bible says and as he journeyed he came near Damascus and suddenly there shined a light from heaven I want you to take close note of that light didn't just come from there that place is called light Light is a place. And on the contrary, darkness is also a place. In describing hell, you see all the descriptions of darkness. In describing heaven, you see all the descriptions of light. What is the point? Spending forever in darkness instead of forever in light. There came a light from heaven. It's like the heavens opened. And because heaven is light, light came from there. You can't give what you are not. So if light came from heaven, then heaven is light. We can look at all kinds of scriptures to declare this. Light is a place. Heaven is light. It is in light that God dwells. Hmm. <laughs> God dwells in light. Because light is a place. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 16. Who only had immortality dwelling in the light. Hmm, my God. Which no man can approach unto. Whom no man has seen. Nor can see. To him be honor, power, everlasting. Amen. So he dwells in light. And he dwells in heaven. So heaven is light. 
So light is a place. Lift up your hands. On the final day when the trumpet shall sound, may none of us miss the place of light. Did I hear the loudest? Amen. Number five, are you following at all? Light is a product. Light is a product. The Bible says in John chapter 5 verse 35, he was a burning and shining light. Light is a product. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. And you are his product. But every product must come and pass through a process. So if light is a product, there is what to do to reflect it. We have been reading Matthew 5, 14 to 16, but many in the body of Christ are not yet light to their world. Why? It's a product. And it's the product of a process. You are the light. There is what to do to reflect light. He was a burning and shining light. Now hear this. It means what powers light that people see is fire. Until you become a believer on fire, you can't reflect light. Look at it in the traditional sense. You carry a lamp, the lamp gives light, all right, or you power a generator, the generator produces light. But that generator producing light is burning gasoline or diesel. There is something on your inside that must be on fire for you to reflect light. That's why this conference must not end. This crusade must not end. This meeting must not end without something in you catching fire. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 9. The Bible says his word was like a fire shot up in my bones. Light is a product. And that product has a process. And that process is fire. We are shouting we want to be light. But we are not light. Because that light is not by singing. That light is not by jumping. That light is not by clapping. That light takes wood being on the fire. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. He shall place wood on the fire. My prayer for somebody here is that no midnight will pass again without you setting your life on fire. Can I tell you this? That there is a conference or crusade going on. Doesn't mean that you stop burning the fire. Every morning. Every morning. Your life be set on fire. Every morning. You as a minister don't have to wait to prepare because there is a meeting. You are perpetually on fire. Anywhere you are caught, you emit fire. You don't need preparation because it's a lifestyle. Light is a product. I don't know how many young people are here, but it's time for us to catch fire. Literal fire. It is time for us to catch fire. Everybody is now tired of tradition. People are asking for realities. The generation to which I belong and those coming after are saying it's enough of doctrine. If God is powerful, let us see him. If light is real, let it chase away the darkness in my life. But it will take you giving yourself wholly. Acts chapter 6 verse 7 verse 4. Giving yourself wholly to prayer and to the ministry of the world. I am trusting God that as I'm preaching, speaking, and releasing God's word to you right now. The Bible says, the, 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 the letter kill it, but the spirit, the spirit, the spirit give it life. The spirit give it life. This thing called light takes a process. It takes a commitment. Try it for three days. Wait upon God for three days. Put away food. Put away water. Put away everything for three days. Seek his face. Come down. 
you won't need to announce where you came from. This thing called light is a product and this product is from a process. It's time for us to arise. <laughs> That's why I say arise and shine for your light is come. You can't be on the bed and light come. It takes a person getting up in the early hours of the morning. Kabuba, up and the kuba. Iluske fin mane, krutaba. It's a process. The generator that is giving us light now had to be ignited. Mm. Had to be ignited. It takes an arising to ignite. Lord, I am tired of my light being out. Mm. And so this conference has come to put in diesel. But diesel without the ignition has no, no impact. You have attended many meetings with diesel. But never started the engine. Why don't you start it midnight tonight? And then tomorrow night again, keep it running. And then the third day, keep it running. And then the fifth day, keep it running. Until it becomes a lifestyle. And then when you step out, darkness disappears. Because darkness has enough sense to know the superior called light. Upuraba. There are seven people right now. I'm trusting God for you. Something will drop upon you. Your light will never go out again. Now I'm praying for the spirit of grace and supplication upon a number of people here tonight. You have desired this spirit of prayer. But somehow, somehow, every time it is time to pray, it seems like you are tired and weary. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for that mantle, that mantle of prayer, that mantle of prayer to drop upon you. May it rest upon you. Young man, young woman, may that mantle of prayer rest upon you. May that mantle of prayer dwell upon you. May that mantle of prayer rest upon you. The mantle of prayer. This thing called light is a product. Except you deceive yourself, you know when you are out of light. Because there are things that should bow to you on their own accord. When light comes, look at how darkness goes without screaming. There are things that you rearrange when you appear. There are cultures that should shift when you dwell in a place. If you say you are carrying fire, there are things that shouldn't be able to happen on your street again because you live there. Let's not deceive ourselves with religion. Can you have light and your neighbor not know you have light? There is a dimension you step to that a circumference around your neighborhood changes because of your presence and they know it that there is someone who has packed in. They also know when somebody has moved out that the things that could not happen before are now happening. Where is that man? Where is that woman that used to rent an apartment here? They have left. So light left. I'm praying for somebody here. May the responsibility that it takes to produce light as a lifestyle May it rest upon us. Okrika, shout a louder amen. Are you there at all? Shout a louder amen. Number six. Light is a garment. <laughs> oh my God. Light is a garment. They wear light. Look at what the Bible says in Psalm 104 verse 1 and 2. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Look at this. 
Who covers thyself with light as a garment? Do you have that in King James? Put it in King James, please. Who covered thyself with light as a garment? Mm. 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 So if you are asking for God's cloth, is light. We traditionally think angels wear long white gown. They wear light. <laughs> light is a garment. And you cannot wear light and wear darkness at the same time. There is what you must put off to put on light. Mm. There is what you must take off to put on light. Mm. Mm. The Bible talking about Joshua the high priest. He said, is this not a brand plucked out of fire? So a destiny of fire. And we know that fire produces light from John 5.35. But he said, take away from him the filthy garment. There are people ordained to shape and shake this nation for Jesus. But they have the wrong garment. Light is garment. Mm. Let me give you another description. If it says take away from him the filthy garment, it means there is also a holy garment. And I speak to a generation. And generations after... God's standard will not change. I know him. You can't walk in this dimension of fire and compromise. Mm. Some of you would be face to face with demons and when you are trying to cast them out, they will say, not you. Because they know the one who wears light. Light is a garment. If God can put on light, wears light, then we too can wear light. He said, take away from him the filthy garment. So everyone is wearing a garment here tonight. The question is, which one? You are either wearing light or wearing darkness. And in the realm of the spirit, there are no colors. It's white. Or black. Light is a garment. This crusade and this conference will not be successful until there is a change of garment. Mm. Our standard is not from DSTV. Our standard is not from America. Our standard is not from Europe. Our standard is from the word of God. I don't care which civilization you belong to. Please own a real Bible. Own it. Own it. Read it. Eat it. Jeremiah 15, 16. He said, thy words were found. And I did eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them, eat it. And thy word have become the joy and the rejoicing of my soul. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. He said that, you know, he will show to us the ancient parts. Where our fathers did walk in. I don't belong to a different generation. I belong to a biblical generation. It doesn't matter how many people say these things don't matter. For me and my household, they will forever matter. Light! It's a garment. You can stand out in a generation that compromises without compromising. You can stand out in the body of Christ today. There are compromises everywhere. Not just outside the church, but in the church. That's why I tell people it's good to say this one is my mentor. This pastor is my mentor. It's alright. But please make sure that you only follow as they follow Christ. That's what the apostles taught us. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. So if you see I stop following Christ, stop following me. Many know the doctrines of their church. They don't know the word of God. 
They know the beliefs of their church. They don't know the word of God. But this word is open to all. This is the only way you can truly know God. Because everything contained here has been tried in the fire. We pastors can make mistakes. Yes, we may inspire you, but follow him. He said, follow me and I will make you. Nobody can make you like him. Matthew 4, 19. Follow him. He said, follow me and I will make you. The man that God makes is different from the man that man makes. Follow me and I will make you. Light is a garment. In Revelation chapter 19 verse 8, he said, And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. So the Lord is saying to you tonight, a number of us need to change our garment. We will not enter heaven by our titles. We will enter heaven with our garment. Hmm. Finally, number seven. Is somebody catching something tonight? Light is a kingdom. <laughs> Light is a kingdom. I'll show to you from the scripture now. The Bible says in Colossians 1.13 Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and has what? Translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Follow this. In Acts 26 verse 18 he said to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Ye are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. <laughs> a holy nation. That what? You should show forth the praises of him that has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. In Revelation 11 15, he said the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and his Christ and he shall reign. So there are two kingdoms. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. Oh, my light has come. Are you sure? Which kingdom do you belong to? Oh, my light has come. Which garment do you wear? <laughs> oh, my light has come. Which process have you followed? Oh, my light has come. Which place did it come from? Oh, my light has come. Which season, which night season did you pass through? Oh, my light has come. From which state? Because light is a state. Oh, my light has come. Have you met the person of light? I tell you this is a reality. I didn't come to preach a message among many. I came to introduce you to a new reality. The reality of light. And so get ready within the next 24 hours. Anything that represents darkness. I've just introduced to you now. Tomorrow is a night of manifestation. Not too much of teaching tomorrow. But we are, we are going to see light enter a place. <laughs> we are going to see light enter a life. We are, we are going to see light change a situation. We are going to see light dawn on a city. Can I tell you this? Okrika will never remain the same again. I don't know whether it seems like it or not. Something will break loose in the Anglican church that will spread revival fire across many denominations. Can I hear the amen of one who knows light is real? 
jump on your feet and share man. lift up your hands Lord I, des I desire my encounter I will give you some two minutes. Can I have somebody on the keyboard, please? I will give you some two minutes to pray. Pray very intensely. Pray very. Let this come from the depth of your heart. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. My light has come. My light has come. My light has come. Jesus is walking here tonight. Jesus is here tonight. Jesus, do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Play something, please. Do not pass me by. 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 Ora taba de kene manaba. No one ever meets light and remains the same. Begin to read out those things you just heard. I want to meet the person of light. I want to step into the state of light. I want to step into the season of light. I want to step into the place of light. I want to receive the product of light that comes from a process. I want to wear the garment of light. I want to belong to the kingdom of light. There is a citizenship change here tonight. of light you are the light that makes my face shine bright so bright as I look your face I become the light where's darkness at the sight of light Minister Peterson evaporated at the glimpse of light you are the light that makes my face shine bright As I see your face, I become the light In my life Oh, Coca-Cola That's light that's come back to me Oh, Coca-Cola He 
mole deu ode 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 e mole deu o coco se dá nu se dá nu e mole deu o coco bada nu e mole deu o coco bada e mole deu Seven people are being touched right now by the power of God. Under this tent, I heard in my spirit your night season was not wasted. Because after night comes light. After night comes light. You came here wondering, I have tried everything. When will my situation change? Season. Season. Light is a season. Light is a season. Light is a season. We pay men do for a night. We pay men do for a night. For a night. But joy cometh in the morning. One of the expressions of light is joy. When light comes, joy comes. Oh my God. Addictions are broken, stagnation destroyed, limitations shattered. Imolede, fools are dropping on people. The weight of His glory is coming upon you. Imolede, hodo hodo, kukupalada. Light has come. Imolede, kukupa. The sight of light. Oh my God! Evaporated at the glimpse of light. All over the tent, it is happening. It is happening. You are the light that makes our face shine bright. The level camilla. As I behold your face, I become the light. Where's darkness at the sight of light? Hey! Evaporated by the gleams of light, O Rabba Kabashaya, you are the light that makes our faith shine bright. Hey, as I see your face, I become the light. Pray in the spirit a little more. Lift up your voice, Rakasata de Bakosi. I see this moment as a destiny molding moment. This is like somebody's road to Damascus. There are things you have persecuted that are not real. They are about to happen to you now. An encounter with light. An encounter with light. From that corner. The Lord is touching people, touching people, touching people. Light is a personal. Jesus is His name. Jesus is His name. Jesus is His name. He's in this tent in Oklahoma. Jesus is His name. Jesus is His name. Lift your hand and embrace light. Embrace light. The power of God is coming upon the Lord. Open your arms and embrace. Embrace light. Embrace light. Embrace light. Your generation is waiting for you. A city set upon the hill that cannot be hidden. Embrace light. Embrace light. He molded. Grace is coming upon the number of you to go through the process that generates light. He molded. New prayer fire. Revival prayer fire. He molded. It's going to spread out of the Anglican Church. In Okrika. He molded. Revival fire. By people who are in light. He molded. Oh, 
I see God giving to people in the nation of Nigeria. Ah, He's making you a watchman over this nation, over this region, over this continent. Worthy of my praise. Oh, 
can listen to this, the Anglican Church and all that are watching all over the world. The moment you don't reverence God anymore, you can't be right. We have so casualized the presence of God. And maybe some of us, like myself, need to be blamed. We have so merchandised the presence of God. Made it so casual. But not for price nor reward. Light is birth in his presence. Moses said in Exodus 33, if your presence will not go with me, ah. don't take me. <laughs> don't take me forward, your presence. And then God said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Listen to this, Okrika. The proof that his presence followed was there was a pillar of fire and a pillar of cloud. Light without his presence, ah. you don't understand light ah. yet. Right this thing takes tarry. Luke chapter 24 verse 49. He said, tarry ye Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. What was the power? Light. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 3. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were in one accord in one place. There came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind and it filled the house where they were seated and they sat upon each one of them cloven tongues as of light. We need to tell a generation that there is a process. The other things are real, but it will not become process. Only those that tarry, carry. Only those that tarry, carry. We may preach and declare, maybe you will get some candlelight, but to become floodlight, there is a process. Also, light is in degrees. There is one glory of the moon and another glory of the sun. Moonlight cannot be called. The flyer went out. It was a call to come. All that need light, come. So tomorrow, everybody in Okrika that needs light, bring them here. Come unto me. I didn't say come to hear a preacher. I didn't say come to join a denomination. I didn't say come to be part of a crusade. I said come to meet him. His name is Jesus. His other name is Light. Mm. <laughs> to be able to dwell in heaven when our time is over on the earth, we need a heaven on earth experience now. We need to get used to light to be able to dwell there. To be able to meet him that cannot be met because of unapproachable light. If this is where my teaching ends, if this is the, if this is the end of my session here, I think that God has spoken to somebody that he ordained to be here. I don't know who you are, but I've seen God fish one person in a crowd. God looked all through the children of Israel and he found one man called Moses. This is someone's Kairos moment. Forget the cameras. Kairos moments are not camera moments. <laughs> Nobody took a picture of Moses when he was by the burning bush. But nobody denied that he had a burning bush experience. Because it takes a burning bush experience to step back to Egypt and meet Pharaoh and say, Thus say the Lord, let my people go. And everybody listened to him. Moses said to the Lord, if they ask me who sent me, he said, tell them I am appeared to you. <laughs> I 
I see Deborah has been anointed. Deborah has been anointed. Yeah. Women carrying a very strange prophetic mantle. Deborah has been anointed. The Lord told me at the beginning of this year, I will locate women in 2024. Women that will carry prophetic mantles. Esthers. Women that are born for such a time as this. Esther chapter 4 verse 14. He said, who knows if you were brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. Ah. I see Sam is rising in the order of David. Sam is rising. I see ancient mantles resting Whoa. upon people. Ancient mantles. The Bible says about John that he will come in the spirit and in the power of Elijah. So God can transfer a mantle from many generations before you and rest it upon you. I see the evangelistic mantle Whoa. resting upon people. They will enter nations, nations will open Crusades will take place. Whoa. Mighty miracles will take place. His glory is here. back again to Isaiah 60. Oh, Arise, shine, for your light is come. Yes, and the glory of the Lord, so light is glory. That's the eighth point. Hey. Light is glory. Another, that's right, it's happening. Another way to define light is glory. Glory. Arise, shine, for your light is come. Hey. Number eight. And the, the glory, glory of the Lord is risen upon you. When people see glory upon you, they see light upon ah. you. <laughs> your light has come. It's not complete until they see glory upon you. Glory. <laughs> Are you here at all? That is glory. Light is glory. Lord, I want to see your glory. What you are saying is, Lord, I want to see your light. I want to see your light. Glory of God. Light is glory. 
You can't define glory until you have seen glory. Yes. And one of the only descriptions you can give glory is light. Mm. Oh, the glory of God came down. What do I mean? The light of God came down. We must not waste this moment. The person of light has not been met by many. I want to leave the altar open now. I will count to ten. If you have not met light, you have not met Jesus. If you have not met Jesus, you have not met light. And until you meet him, your garment cannot change. Tradition will not take you and I anyway. Only Jesus can. You are struggling with sin. You are struggling with addiction. You are struggling with the vices of this world. Those are the things that are in the kingdom of darkness. But not in the kingdom of light. Once you enter into the kingdom of light, addictions are broken. Chains are broken. Bondages are destroyed. They are blasted open. Hindrances to life and destiny are taken off. Jesus is light. I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to embrace light. I want to follow light. I want to wear light. I want to become a part of the kingdom of light. I am tired of hanging around light. I want to enter light wherever you are. I want to call you to the altar right now. The altar is open. This meeting cannot end without the opening of the altar. Hear this. A great evangelist one day went to preach somewhere in the United States of America. And after the message, he left so disappointed because only one person answered the altar call. So disappointed. He said, what happened? Only one person answered the altar call. Do you know the only person that answered the altar call that day was a young boy called Billy Graham. One person stepped out of the kingdom of darkness into light. That one person won millions. The millions of souls that Billy Graham won are the grandchildren of that evangelist. Never look at people and say, who is coming? God may just mean business with you alone. When God meets a man, that man never remains the same. You want to give up darkness, you want to enter light. You want to give up sin, you want to enter righteousness. You want to take off the garment of darkness, you want to wear light. Wherever you are, the altar is open right now. I want you to come here. We will pray together. Your life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus. Stand on your feet if it is you I'm talking about. And make your way to the altar right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come very quickly. Come very quickly. One. Anything, I'm waiting for you. This is my favorite place. Okay, can respond. Two. To always worship before. I didn't say you don't belong to church. You, you have not met Jesus. Come out, hand over your life to Jesus. And, I love and you will soon you. become a citizen of light. And Three. Come quickly, come quickly. Some of you are still thinking of your decision. A generation may be depending on your decision. This is my Four. favorite place. Come quickly. To always Please give them room to spread all across so I can see the faces of people. Five. Come quickly. You are everything. Come and quickly. I please, love yes, let them spread. Let them spread towards the right. Towards the right, please. Let them spread. Yes. Let them spread. Not congregating. Six. One line. Let them spread. They will move to the next line. This is Seven. my favorite place to always worship before. front 
bow your heads focus only on Jesus don't focus on any preacher don't focus on anyone singing just close your eyes and focus on him imagine what will happen to a generation if you truly meet with light imagine what will happen to your family if you truly meet with light imagine what will happen to your neighborhood your community if you will truly meet with light imagine what will happen if the people in our nation who profess to be Christians have truly met with light how will darkness prevail Lord make my meeting with you today genuine I don't want to fake it I don't want to be among a crowd he said I sought for a man so God was looking for you and he found you this is your road to Damascus encounter Place your right hand in your chest. Let's pray together. I'm going to pray with you. I'm not praying for you. We are praying together. Say after me, everyone in front, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Louder, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Forgive me all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Make me a child of God. Jesus, today I confess that you are my Lord that you are my Lord. and my Savior. Thank you, Thank you. for I have now received you light. Received you light. No, more darkness no more darkness around my life. Around my life. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you, Heavenly Father. My precious brothers and sisters have accepted you as their Lord and Savior. They believe you died for them. They believe that on the third day you were raised up again for them. They believe that you are light as they have heard. Now that they have received light, now that they follow light, may every darkness around their lives, around their families, around their communities, around their lineage, in any department of their lives, may such darkness be rolled away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, keep these ones on fire. Let your plan and purpose for their lives be fulfilled. In Jesus' precious name, and everyone will shout the loudest amen. amen god bless you i don't know what the protocol is okay follow this way follow our officials this way lord bless you richly let me quickly say this please rise on your feet as we honor jesus let's rise on our feet let's give the lord a big hand for souls oh, that yeah. have been saved here tonight is that how you will celebrate light light is a person light is a person I thought you would celebrate light some more. Tomorrow we are trusting the Lord that we'll be back again in Okrika for day two. I want you to come ready because we have taught the basics and the foundation. Tomorrow will be the practicals. No lesson is complete with theory alone. And so if your light has come, then we will demonstrate the authority of light over darkness. Anyone you know that is sick in Okrika, bring them here tomorrow. Anyone that doctors have given up on, bring them here tomorrow. I expect to see wheelchairs here tomorrow. I expect to see crutches here tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a miracle service. There will be signs, there will be wonders, there will be miracles. There will be baptisms of the Holy Ghost and fire. Make sure you come ready tomorrow. Make sure you come with all of your heart tomorrow. I strongly believe that there will be appointments in the spirit tomorrow. People will be granted new appointments. People will be handed over new territories to dominate and to rule in the mighty name of Jesus. How many will be here tomorrow? How many will not come alone tomorrow? How many will tell everybody they know that they have met with light? How many know that light will become reflective in your life? Amen. The Lord bless you richly. Thank you, the Anglican Church, for having us here tonight. The Lord bless you richly. In Jesus' name. You can do better than that. You can do better than that.
Amen. Can you stretch forth your hands towards God's servant and pray for him? Just kindly pray for him. The Bible says, He that watereth shall be watered, and the husbandman shall be first partaker of the first fruit. Pray for him. Pray for him. Ask for more encounters in his life. Ask for more glory, more unction. Ask for more fire upon him. That tomorrow night shall be more brutal. Tomorrow night shall be more glorious. Commit him to the hands of the Lord. Even as the protocol takes him back to Potter God, let the Holy Ghost go with him. Let the angels of God go ahead of them. There shall be no interruption. The night shall be peaceful. The roads are favorable. The hand of God is mighty. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, the name of God the Holy Spirit. Somebody, can you celebrate Jesus? Can you celebrate Jesus?